Much like Sherlock, and many, if not most of us, would love to have the ability to read people's body language to understand the truth about how to interpret what they're saying. Well, it turns out it's actually possible, and in this video we give you 5 tips to read people. Number 1. Trust your instinct they say not to judge a book by its cover and sometimes this statement is absolutely true, we misunderstand or misinterpret what we believe on occasion. That said, there's evidence to suggest that the first impression is often quite accurate. This is because we're highly sensitive to minute body cues people give on first impression, understanding their character and intentions quickly. However, Sam Gosling, a personality psychologist at the University of Texas, does add that you need to be willing to update your impressions quickly, which can be challenging. Number 2. Identify abnormal behaviour Many people give off a number of signals in their behaviour when they don't behave as you might expect in certain situations. For example, if you are in a warm or comfortable room, then crossing arms is likely to have a greater meaning, such as someone feeling defensive than when in a cold room. This is because our natural response to cold is to close off our body, but in a warm room this would be an unnecessary action and is likely to have more psychological significance to it. So be sensitive to these behaviours, as they can mean more than you might first think. Number 3. Identify Telltale Signs when people have certain intentions they will give off signals which often expose their intentions in a given situation. For example, when someone is lying, they will often exhibit signs of discomfort that can give away their lack of honesty. These would usually be touching their hands and face, and appearing defensive, such as crossing arms or leaning away when talking to you. This can also be applied to other things. For example, narcissists have a tendency to give visual clues to their personality, such as wearing expensive clothing, showing muscles, or for example for some women, showing off cleavage. Number 4. Identify trust When someone is mimicking or at the very least using a similar body language to you during a conversation, it is usually a signal that they feel emotionally in sync with you. While some try to do this to their advantage in certain circumstances, notably in job interviews, it is hard to appear genuine throughout the course of a conversation. Another sign of someone being trustworthy is that they are more emotionally expressive with you, showing that they are likely to be more cooperative. Likewise, showing these traits can help endear you to other people, making you more approachable and appear more friendly. Number 5. Identify Attraction Let's be honest, for most this is the most common reason for wanting to have the ability to read others. Two signals to look out for, according to research, is that women will speak less hesitantly and more smoothly when comfortable with a man, someone they might perceive as more than just a friend. The second sign is across both genders, people naturally speak with a deeper tone of voice when speaking to someone they are attracted to. For today that's all, but keep an eye out as I will be doing a video that delves significantly deeper into cues of attraction. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms, don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads.